The Shroud of Turin, the Turin Shroud or Holy Shroud, is a length of linen that for centuries has been passionately argued to be the actual burial garment of Jesus Christ. However, predictably, these claims have not escaped the attention of those who dismiss such claims, with some going to incredible lengths to attempt to discredit its authenticity. Yet, just as William Corliss has pointed out during his investigation, along with many other individuals who have explained over the years that although much of the detail present upon the shroud could be explained with printing methods already in existence as early as the medieval era, the methods used to date the shroud to a much later creation than that of the crucifixion of Christ, these dating methods could just as easily, yet legitimately, be thrown out just as they did with the claims of those who argued its authenticity. Preserved since 1578 in the Royal Chapel of the Cathedral of San Giovanni Battista in Turin, Italy, home to some of the most astonishing pieces of art on this planet, it measures 14 feet 3 inches in length and 3 feet 7 inches wide. It portrays two faint images, one of the back and one of the front of a 5 foot 7 inch man. The image contains markings that allegedly correspond to the crucifixion wounds of Jesus, including thorn marks on the head, lacerations as if from flogging on the back, bruises on the shoulders, and various stains of what is presumed to be blood. Initial carbon dating of the shroud was undertaken, at great cost by individuals hell-bent on proving the shroud was a hoax, we might add. These dates at the elation of those who funded the examination came back with an age for the image's creation, as less than 700 years ago. However, quote, a reality of our biosphere is that virtually everything is permeated with microbes and their byproducts. S.J. Mattingly and L.A. Garzavides of the University of Texas, San Antonio, have been studying what is known as biogenic varnishes. These plastic-like coatings are produced by bacteria and fungi much younger than the actual artifact itself, and an examination of a few linen fibers from the shroud itself has proven that they are indeed coated with these microbes." End quote. From the archaeological anomalies, small artifacts by Corliss. Thus, examination of these threads will throw up many anomalous dates. Therefore, the true authenticity of the shroud has not been debunked. What we personally feel would be a logical step to take going forward would be to date these biogenic varnishes in search of the oldest. This would then, by default, give us a minimum date of creation. It is a direction we hope is taken by those who believe in the Shroud's Christian origins. The reality is that as of yet no one alive today knows for certain, via any scientific investigation, the true age or origin of the Shroud regardless of those who hastily debunk the artifact. We instead find such results curious and often wonder what drives their motive for dismissal. Regardless, all of these factors, if taken to discredit the shroud, have instead made us even more interested in finding out the truth surrounding the shroud's origins. It is an artifact which we undoubtedly find highly compelling.